Hello, my name is Terry Oshesky, Superintendent of Garfield Heights City Schools. Welcome to another edition of Open Line On Air. Today we are joined by two very special guests, Chris Hankey, Principal, and Ms. Leah Borden, Guidance Counselor at Garfield Heights Middle School. They are here today to talk about a very serious issue that confronts many public education and middle schools, bullying. The Garfield Heights City Schools does not tolerate bullying of any kind, be it physical, verbal, or cyberbullying. Our guests today are going to share with the viewers at home what is currently being done at the middle school for anti-bullying purposes. We believe that as we raise student awareness about bullying and confront it head on, we can minimize and eliminate the threats of bullying. Guests, welcome. First, let me begin by allowing our guests to introduce themselves with your name and what your title is for the viewers at home. Hi, I'm Chris Hankey. I'm the principal of Garfield Heights Middle School. I'm Leah Borden. I'm the guidance counselor at Garfield Heights Middle School. Well, welcome. Thanks Thank for being you. on the show. First, can both of you share what is the definition of bullying, what is it, and what it is not? Well, in its most basic definition, it's a repetitive behavior that's harassing and intimidating. Uh, the, the major uh, thing we look for as administrators is that it is a repeated action. Mr. Hankey, can you share with the viewers at home an overall summary of what is taking place at the middle school for our students in terms of the anti-bullying curriculum? Sure. Um, last year we purchased a curriculum. Uh, uh, we worked with Dr. Dupree, our pupil service director, uh, to uh, uh, purchase a curriculum and review it to deploy in classrooms. This year, our uh, guidance counselors, Ms. Borden and Ms. Gray, uh, are going into each classroom and, and presenting uh, the anti-bullying program to each one in each grade. Uh, and then we're moving forward with some other initiatives in the second semester. Can you share with the residents at home all the different forms of bullying that exist or that you have been confronted with and elaborate on them? Uh, the different forms of bullying would be physical, um, that's the obvious one, also emotional, verbal, and um, cyberbullying. And, and what role does our guidance uh, counselors play uh, in this process? Well, we are um, taking the initiative to go into classrooms and speak with the students about the different forms and also the different roles that they can play in bullying situations. Can you talk more about the videos? Um, it intrigues me that all our kids are able to see the videos and uh, uh, tell me what they are exactly seeing and what, what are they learning from those videos? Well, there's two different types of videos. Uh, the first one is uh, a general form of bullying. Um, it talks about the roles that students can play as bystanders as well as the um, aggressors in the situ bullying situation. Um, the second video that we show um, is mainly towards uh, the girls uh, because that's where we see a lot of the bullying. Um, and it talks about the roles that girls play and the uh, form of bullying that um, girls take a lot of um, initiative in. How, how do we know that the concepts are being watched in the video are being reinforced? Well, um, we have immediate feedback. We ask reflective questions um, based on what they see in the uh, video. Um, we give a lot of the students an opportunity to answer the questions, and um, by um, listening to their, their answers, we can see if they're kind of grasping what we're trying to get across. So uh, what's the response that the uh, students are having uh, with the curriculum that we're instituting? A very positive response. We've been seeing a lot more reporting happening and not just from the students that are being bullied but from people that observe it um, because they've learned to take their own responsibility for um, their school and take pride in, in making a positive climate. And what role does the parent play in this process? Um, who contacts them and at what point are they brought into the equation? Uh, the parents play a a very important role in the bullying process. Um, sometimes parents are our first contact. They'll let us know what their um, child has shared with them um, in terms of bullying and we work with them in that way. Also when a student is um, experiencing bullying we contact parents and we let them know and again you know it's a repetitive thing so if it has happened um, several times we will contact the parent and let them know. And, and I'm sure that uh, some parents don't know what bullying is so it's good that we're giving them the definition exactly. of bullying so they understand exactly when when they call you that I'm sure most of them are saying oh my son or daughter is being bullied. Yes. 
Yeah. And, and, to, and to dovetail off what she's saying, administration does get involved when um, we can't solve a bullying uh, problem with mediation, with talking through uh, uh, things with guidance counselors. We do end up getting involved with consequences. Uh, however, what we, what we like to do is try to make it an educational process first. Uh, what can the parent do at home to reinforce the skills that we're teaching at the middle school about bullying? Um, I think one big thing would be to encourage their um, students to report it. Um, a lot of times it happens, they may tell mom or dad and they don't want you know, anyone to know. Um, so you want to encourage them to let the counselors, the principals, you know, um, teachers know that it is happening because you know if we don't know we can't do anything That's right. um, and also just encourage them um, to be assertive when bullying is taking place and not aggressive and teaching that difference that assertive is standing up for yourself being firm and um, you know aggressive being uh, blaming and threatening someone else because the end result of that could just uh, be you know more trouble than what there was and, and at school as administrators we encourage them to talk to adults and, and that, that doesn't necessarily mean a principal or assistant principal, but to make sure that adults are aware if something's going on uh, that, that is a repeated behavior that's harassing. So we have the students being educated, we have parents being educated, so what are our teachers doing uh, that will help, uh, help the anti-bullying curriculum at the middle school? I want to uh, highlight what one teacher is doing in particular. Uh, Ms. Vicki Tomaszewski, one of our com uh, computer instructors, uh, is doing a whole unit on cyberbullying with each one of our classes. And um, with that, uh, it, it really is uh, touching on a major subject that we're dealing with. Uh, there is bullying that happens uh, through Facebook and through Twitter and through different uh, social media outlets that really is having a negative impact on students. It's really bringing things to the forefront for them. Uh, is bullying or just a problem in Garfield Heights? Absolutely not. Uh, I think the bullying is a a problem that uh, it, it doesn't matter how wealthy or poor or 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 or, 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 uh, or anything else. The major issue is is that it happens quite a bit though at a middle school level. Uh, uh, students are 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 young adolescents and in their development, uh, it's a behavior that we see quite a bit. And I would say that's why we're directing a lot of our attention at the middle school about bullying. Uh, what's on the horizon for the anti-bullying uh, curriculum? Uh, any special events? Uh, any continued curriculum? Uh, what do you have planned for uh, the middle school? Well, we have went into um, all of the study hall periods for the seventh graders. So at the um, next semester, we like to go into the sixth grade and eighth grade um, classrooms. And also, um, we have a poster contest and just encouraging students to make some anti bullying posters and um, we plan to meet with some people in the community um, at the Garfield Heights Resource Center and they um, have contacted us about um, developing a program where they can come in and do some activities to stop bullying at our school. Um, in, in addition, uh, 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 our administrators have met with a, uh, a trainer named Mike Douglas uh, and he is uh, going to put on a parent program for us it surrounds relationships and positive relationships among parents and, and, with, and among students. Uh, and that'll be an activity that's open to the entire district. Well, it sounds like we're uh, moving forward and we've designated the issue and uh, we're really trying to cover up the things that we need to uh, take care of at, at the middle school with bullying. Um, any other things that you want to add? Well, I, I'd like to add that we're, I think we're tackling this head on. I think that uh, the major uh, piece of this is, is collaboration and conversation. Uh, those two things, uh, whether it be among students, among staff, uh, uh, with administration, uh, as long as communication is kept open, uh, it's going to help out uh, when we have those types of negative behaviors, such as bullying. Well, thank you much thank for being you. on. Thank you. And thank you. Well, that's another uh, edition of Open Line On Air. As always, to learn more about what's being done at the middle school for anti-bullying, you can contact any of our guests, Mr. Hankey or Ms. Borden, at any time. Academic achievement is always our top priority, but we recognize that students must learn in a healthy and safe environment. To everyone at home, I hope you have a joyous holiday season, and I'm Superintendent Terry Oshesky. Stay tuned for another edition. Thank you, and as usual, go Bulldogs.